Hello and welcome back to my channel and in today's review I'm going to be taking a look at the Weizhang Robot Force Armed Cannon or more commonly known as the upscaled and advancements to the original 2007 leader class brawl. Now if you are in the market for picking one of these figures up then I definitely recommend that you check out Shozi's store and for that there will be links down in the description box below for a direct link to this figures page as well as the wide range of other collectibles all at shows his store. Now I have decided to showcase Brawl from tank mode to robot mode instead of showcasing robot mode to tank mode as there are no transformation videos which showcase the transformation from tank mode to robot mode and it is actually quite involved. Now first off taking a look at the tank itself it is an absolutely amazing representation of the tank that Brawl obtained in the 2007 movie and it is absolutely massive. I will bring out some figures for a comparison very soon but as you can see it almost looks as if though it is a model tank it honestly doesn't look like it could transform at all we've got the massive turret with the storm attack text across the top we have got storm attack written all over the figure which is quite unique and unusual we can see here that we do have some small gatling guns on either side of brawl's turret mode and these are on joints that are able to be positioned in a various range of different degrees we've also got a small micro figure which is wielding the machine gun on the top as well as the very nicely painted silver missile pods on either side with the small turrets at the front there and here we've got these sections which I imagine are obviously for detecting and for scrapping over bombs which is also a really nice added touch and is something which carries over from the original 2007 leader figure. Now as you can probably see this figure does in fact have rubber treads however unfortunately they do not roll whatsoever which is a shame as the actual wheels themselves do roll so it would have been really really great to have seen Wei Zhang engineer a way for the actual rubber treads to roll along with the wheels but nevertheless this isn't necessarily a piece I'm going to be rolling around on the floor like a mad child as you can see we've got some really nice silver details on this as well and this figure is actually quite substantial in terms of its weight some of this figure's components are in fact made out of die cast pieces so that is really awesome to see and it does also have some articulation so the main turret is able to move up and down this whole section here can also rotate however it does tend to kind of bump into different parts of the sides of the tank this smaller turret here is on a ratchet joint and is able to ratchet all the way around to recreate a 360 degree of rotation and then this turret here is on a ball joint so it can be maneuvered in whatever way you so choose and the missile pods are on hinge joints so it can be lifted up and down as well as move side to side so it is a really awesome and very very impressive looking tank mode with some really nice added details and touches and the camouflage paint deco over the top of the tank really does help to make it look very very realistic for a sense of scale, here is the Wei Zhang upscaled version of Brawl compared next to the Human Alliance version of Skids. As you can see, this new Brawl just completely towers over Skids in every single way, which of course is accurate to the film. I do personally think that the tank should be even bigger to scale with these Human Alliance figures, but I don't necessarily think that was Wei Zhang's intention. And as it stands, it definitely does look like a very impressive and very very large piece and then just for a fun comparison here we have the movie masterpiece version of jazz kind of standing next to the brawl tank and here i actually think this works reasonably well this was kind of the scale that we did see jazz and brawl have in the 07 movie especially when jazz backflips over the top and bends Brawl's cannon causing him to transform so this is a really nice looking display option. Now turning to Brawl's transformation as this is essentially the 2007 leader class Brawl just upscaled with some advancements of course it does share some very similar engineering influences. So to begin with what you're going to want to do is remove these small machine guns they will reattach later on in robot mode so pull those off on both sides remove the small mini figure that this does come with, this small army dude, which has also been detailed and is actually surprisingly really nicely articulated. And then we can proceed to re-flap up this canopy section, which is a nice added touch of detail on Wei Zhang's part. Now what we can do is proceed to take these sections here and just unclip them just like so and angle them all the way out 
just like so. So to repeat the same process on this side, what we can then do is turn now to the underside and flip this over. And what you're going to want to do here is just unhook the treads on each side. So just unhook them just like that, which will allow us to bring these all the way down. We can then disengage the wheels from this section and then pull this down, snap it into place and then lift the wheels outwards and untab them just like so and collapse them in upon themselves and then take this whole section here and just bring it down just like so and then we can proceed to bring this all in to the main leg section of brawl and just snap it all into place just like so until it locks in just like that and then repeat the exact same process now on the opposite side to bring this down and then pull the wheels off of this piece lifting the treads up bring this down and over and then take this bring this down and clip that into place and then just snap all of this into place just like so with both of the legs now looking somewhat like this we can take them and just split them in half on this very very stiff tab so just bring them out just like so and this black piece will split completely and then what you'll want to do here is bring these sections down and clip them back into their proper positionings so just bring that and clip that in and then repeat the same process for this side clip that in just like that and then rotate the legs forwards just like so and then we can begin to pull out the toes on the front and the back and then split these ones in the middle just snapping those into place on either side repeat the same process on this side so just lift these out bring these ones up to the back and then split the toes they are tabbed in exceptionally well just open those just like so so that you have now created a stable and flat surface for the figure to in fact stand up on now just raising the camera up so that we can see this whole top portion what you're going to want to do here is take this and just pull this down and rotate it all the way around just like so on that ratchet joint we can then take this and proceed to rotate that all the way around just like so very reminiscent to the original 2007 leader and then now here we want to separate this piece so just kind of try your best to pry this apart just like so to loosen the arms up from the main turret i have found that this is probably the most difficult section of the transformation so just pull this all down and that will allow you to pull the entire arm sections down just like so and then these pieces here will slide downwards just like so and we can deal with those later we can then now proceed to lift these pieces upwards on these joints so just raise these all the way up and then we can take this and bring this out to the sides giving him his shoulder rocket launchers which looks really really cool and then now rotate to the front take this whole section here and essentially just take the treads and move them to the back and then bring this out and down just like so and then lift this cavity up which can be quite difficult to do so i tend to just try to pop this whole section down rotate that up and then we can proceed to pull out brawl's head just like that and then now take these treads bring them around try and move the arms out of the way take the treads just sandwich them now to the back repeat the same process on this side Cut those dangling down just like so so that we are now really getting into the entire robot mode and are beginning to bring everything together and then what we can do now is bring this in and then these sections here will in fact collapse inwards so repeat the same process on this side just bring this section in and then this flap here can rotate all the way back and recess all the way in there 
And now essentially what you're going to want to do here is just take these and just angle them in a way that allows you to bring the arms down as these two big black tabs here will plug into these two ports here. So bring that down and just angle this all, snap that into place just like so. And then repeat the same process on this side. So bring this in, snap that into place and bring these pieces into the main torso section. We can then rotate these arms now around and bring those down, lift these flaps up, just kind of make sure that everything is straightened out and is evenly proportioned. And then now moving to the arms, what we can then do is take this and angle this all the way backwards and just spread the fingers out and then repeat the same process for this side. So just bring all of this back. Take the turret now and this hole here will plug into this tab here. So just align this up and snap that into place just like so. And there you essentially have the Wei Zhang Brawl completed in his robot mode without adding all of the additional accessories. Now he does actually come with quite a few. So the first one that I'll show off is this kind of missile launcher, which is very reminiscent of what the 2007 leader figure came with, only in this case it is in fact detachable. So you simply just want to lift this section up, which will deploy this. And then there is a tab on the back that you're going to want to try and pull out as best as you can, as this tab will actually plug into this hole on the arm. So just align this up as best you can. Let's snap that into place. And then taking the machine guns that we saw earlier on, this hole can just plug into this port. So you've got a really heavily armored up left arm or right arm for Brawl. And then he also comes with this attachment, which is very, very different from the original 07 leader. And opening this up and bringing these blades outwards will give him more of a hand-to-hand -hand combat weapon. Closing this up and then rotating this around. And then we can also attach this onto the arm of Brawl also. And then finally taking the final machine gun, it literally just plugs into this port there. And there you essentially have the Wei Zhang Robot Force armed cannon in his robot mode. Now this figure is exceptionally impressive in terms of look, transformation, tank mode, and how he appears in the robot mode. This really does look as if though he is the armory for the Decepticons, and this is actually my preferred look for Brawl. Whilst it may not be 100% accurate to his appearance in the 2007 movie, I've always preferred how the leader class Brawl looks, as opposed to the studio series Voyager, as I just think that he looks so much more menacing being a larger, more weaponized, built up character. And I really like Wei Zhang's rendition of the upscaled 2007 leader class Brawl. Now there's no denying that this figure looks absolutely incredible, but just taking a closer look at the figure all the way around, I really think that Wei Zhang have done a great job in implementing brand new pieces into the figure. Besides this leg section, I do wish that perhaps they could have tidied this up slightly better than they have done. This is very similar to how much kibble was on the original 07 leader, but nevertheless, I think all the way around this figure looks great, and I'm a massive fan of the colour scheme and paint scheme that they went with. My only wish is that they did release a camouflage version of this figure in the more yellowish sandy colour as opposed to the green colour in order for us to get a desert battle version of Brawl. Now turning for detailing, I have opted to go with the more aggressive, more angry face sculpt for Brawl than the original one that it actually has inserted when you open the figure out of the packaging. I think that this looks really, really awesome and it's actually a really nice inclusion by Wei Zhang. Just comparing the original version, as you can see, it is a much more neutral expression, which still looks really nice and is also a fantastic head sculpt. However, I just love the personality that this version just literally screams out and it looks really, really impressive. The missile pods also look really, really nice over the top of the shoulders and the rubber treads at the top just give this figure a much more realistic premium feel. Taking a look at this arm, as I stated, it is very, very heavenly weaponized. As you can see, you've got the massive turret there 
the missile pods as well as the machine gun on top. Initially on the leader class, this was actually hanging more of this section. So it's great how they've re-engineered that to have it on the arm, which I think looks so much better in terms of a visual appearance. And is a lot more of a usable weapon for Brawl to obtain than rather having one swung out on his hips. On this arm, he also has enough weaponry to hold him over. He's got this dagger type weapon, which I guess he could use in hand-to-hand -hand combat, as well as another machine gun, which looks absolutely incredible. And I think that the sculpt work on this figure too is really, really nice. And turning now down to the torso section and the legs, these two look really, really cool. And if you are familiar with the 07 leader, then you'll know what to expect. He also has got the daggers, which can be deployed in the legs. These are slightly more advanced than the 07 leader, as that they are actually able to have different hinge joints so you can move them in whatever way you so choose. But I actually really think that this figure looks absolutely incredible and I'm so glad to finally have this Wei Zhang Brawl in my collection. Now turning to Wei Zhang's rendition of Brawl's articulation, he is actually more articulated than the original 07 leader due to the advancements and upscale in size. The head is on a ball joint so it can look down as well as up as well as tilt side to side and also look left and right. The arms are on ratchet joints so it can rotate the full 360 as well as ratchet out to the sides on a really nice ratchet joint. There is also a ratcheted hinge joint there as well for you to give a different stance to brawl. There is also a rotation just where the elbow joint is and a ratcheted elbow joint there as well. All three fingers are articulated, much like the 07 leader. And really surprisingly, despite this figure being exceptionally bulky, Wei Zhang have actually engineered this figure in having a waist swivel, which is really, really great to see. As you can see, it doesn't offer the greatest range of motion, but believe me, it really does help in posing this figure up. The legs are on heavy duty ratchets, so you can ratchet all the way out to the front that way, and then can ratchet all the way to the back that way. You can also do the splits, which is awesome to see. He has a 360 rotation at the knee with a roughly 90 degree bend, maybe just short of 90 degrees at the knee. And then finally, the feet are on a pivot so they can pivot forwards and backwards on this ankle rocker joint in order for you to give this figure a wider stance. So overall for articulation, he has an exceptionally impressive range of motion. Now, another interesting added bonus that Wei Zhang have included is the option to actually swap out the end of the turret for a much smaller turret, which is actually accurate to a real life modern day tank. Inserting it on is really easy to do. And as you can see, you now have a much shorter nozzle or barrel for the cannon, which just gives you a different look for the character. And I actually think is a nice added touch for this figure. And for a comparison between the brand new Wei Zhang Brawl compared next to the Basis 2007 Leader Brawl, you can definitely see the similarities as well as the differences really shining through with this figure. Personally, I definitely think that the new Wei Zhang version really enhances the overall look of the 07 Leader. It takes the main core elements of that figure and just adds a whole bunch of new transformation elements, which really makes this new figure very premium in its look and much, much more accurate to the film whilst evolving the original look of the 2007 leader class figure. I really like how the turret once again rests on the shoulder as an arm cannon as opposed to the 07 leader which had it swung out to the waist. Both of these figures look great and both deserve a place in my collection. And with my camera now set back as far as I possibly can go, here is the Wei Zhang Brawl compared next to the Wei Zhang upscaled and improved Blackout. Don't these figures look absolutely incredible? They really are a sight to behold in person and are such impressive pieces. This Blackout has now definitely earn itself a masterpiece grade in my collection. I think that this is probably the closest we will ever get to a masterpiece version of Blackout, as I honestly don't think Hasbro and Takara have one planned. And the same really applies for Brawl. I really don't expect Hasbro nor Takara to release their own versions of these characters in the masterpiece format. So to have these characters in this format and in this scale really, really looks very impressive. And I think that both of the figures look really, really awesome. And then for one final comparison, here we have Wei Zhang Brawl compared next to the newly released movie masterpiece MPM9 Jazz. As you can see, I think the scale here works great in the robot mode. Whilst I don't think the scale really works in terms of a vehicle mode, in robot mode, I think that they look perfect together. And it is really interesting to see these characters realized in a masterpiece format. So that is my review on the Wei Zhang Robot Force Armed Cannon, aka the 2007 Leader Class Brawl, upscaled and enhanced, or as I like to refer it as, 
the MPM version of Brawl. If you haven't guessed already, I think that this figure is great. The tank mode looks very realistic and as I stated, looks almost like a model kit tank. It really is very impressive of how much detail they have packed into this figure. The transformation, whilst fairly similar and familiar to the 07 Brawl, definitely brings some brand new unique elements, which makes the overall robot mode a lot more accurate looking and a lot more armoured up. I really do like the improvements that Wei Zhang have incorporated into this figure. The rubber treads are a nice touch. I love the fact how you can swap out the faces between an angry facial expression and a more neutral one. And I think that the plethora of different accessories that he comes with is also enough to make this figure really feel as if though he is a heavily armoured Decepticon. As I stated, if you are in the market for picking one of these figures up, then check the links down in the description box below for Shosi's store, where you can pick this figure up as well as other transforming collectibles. I hope that you enjoyed this review and if you did please let me know down in the comment section below. I am thinking of perhaps making a review for the Wei Zhang Blackout so definitely stay tuned for a potential review of that and be sure to let me know if you would like to see a review of that. Thanks for watching.